Well, <coughs> sorry, one moment. Sorry about that. Let me start that again. Well, hello guys, Dark Gaming here. Welcome back to some more Star Trek Online. The last time I was before when I left camera, I went to the space dock to sort out some bits and pieces. And um, while we're here, we're going to get supplies on. We're going to find a bet if we've got enough money. <clears throat> but it's literally dry at the moment. Um, for chip equipment. Next, we're going to need to get a better shield generator. And like it, we don't have enough for all one. <laughs> Sell some stuff time. I still have my mic, I got rid of ships thing. No, I have Mark 6, which I find with shield generator. I don't, want, don't know why I need a new shield generator. I probably need a new. Let's see. I see I can upgrade some of my stuff. Hang on, I'm gonna upgrade. Pretty much fine with that stuff actually. Don't want to need to care about that at the moment. Okay. How do we go talk to somebody anyway? Thank you for coming. My name is Daniels. In case you're wondering, 
This is a temporal observatory. From here, I can monitor the time stream against any incursions. We've become aware of several temporal incidents led by rogue Nakul agents. They've been using a new form of time travel that we can't detect. We were unaware of their activities until we started noticing changes in the time stream. The latest of these changes happened in the 23rd century at the Galorndon core system. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer, a doomsday machine. If that's the case, we need to stop them at all costs. I know I can count on you to go back in time with me and preserve the timeline. Greetings, how can I assist you to... Greetings, how can I assist you today? We've detected significant temporal activity in the Galorndon core system, circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer. A doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. Stay safe out there. Condition Alpha. Repeat. Condition Alpha.
On a remote world, scientists are adapting Borg technology to suit their own needs. A Federation crew, caught in an impossible situation, fights to survive. But help may not arrive in time. Who will heed their desperate call? In their anguish, the Romulans could cause a greater tragedy than even they imagine.
Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a com... Tall Shi'ar vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. IRW Morari, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Data received, Moreri. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the Director will want to greet you personally. planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit, just sitting there, peaceful. It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. Area is restricted. You need to leave now. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted, sir. Yes, Subcommander. At once. Uh, forgive my rudeness. Uh, access granted. Let me get the door for you. Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted.
My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-stabbed captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so... hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure. But she sings it sweetly. Greetings, Sub-Commander. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. Have a care, friend. We don't take kindly to threats. Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus, or face annihilation. No. Trust is a hard-earned currency. However, I respect their weapon. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You, you have, have nothing, nothing to, fear to fear from the machine, machine, my friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so, Commander. Soon, the Doomsday Machine will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises, guards. Deal with them.
We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. Your uninvited guests will make a fine target for the weapon, Chulak. Warning. The machine is about to open fire! Almost got this console working. Activating shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. It's firing and screaming. Romulan 
attack me. Fire torpedoes into that thing's fall. All ships, protect the planet from that machine at all costs.
below 50%. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. You helped us with the traitorous Nakul, and that earned you a reprieve. For now, leave while you still can. I won't ask twice. Then our cool ship must have detonated within the Doomsday Machine. Disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a Pyrrhic victory at best. <laughs> An uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. We stopped them this time, at great cost. Clearly, the Nakul and their leader, this envoy, are willing to do anything to win this war, even commit genocide. It's unfortunate that Chulak didn't stand up to the Nakul sooner. It might have prevented this tragedy today. Congratulations, Commander. Do you have any questions? Okay guys, I'm going to end it here. Please like and subscribe and see you guys later.